weathering. The Earth's surface consists of a variety of landforms such as mountains, plateaus, plains and valleys which are constantly changing due to the processes brought about inside the Earth as well as on its surface. One such process is weathering. Weathering is the process of wearing away or breakdown of rocks by the various agents present in the atmosphere such as temperature changes, moisture, frost, etc. Weathering is a static process which means that the rocks break up where they stand and the broken pieces remain at the same location. There are three types of weathering processes. The first process called mechanical weathering is a physical process during which the rock gets broken into smaller pieces, each retaining the characteristics of the original rock. Mechanical weathering can occur in many ways. Extreme temperature changes can cause the rock to break, especially in very hot and dry regions like deserts. During the day, the surface of the rocks gets extremely heated, causing them to expand. Whereas at night, the temperature cools down, causing the rocks to contract. This continuous expansion and contraction causes the rocks to crack and eventually break. Another factor that causes mechanical weathering is frost. In cooler regions, water that fills up in the cracks of the rocks freezes and turns into ice at night. Freezing of water results in its expansion by about one-tenth of its volume, which causes rocks to crack. During the day, the ice melts and water seeps further into the cracks. Month after month, year after year, water freezes and thaws over and over again, creating larger cracks in the rocks, which causes them to break or crumble. The second type of weathering is called chemical weathering. Chemical weathering includes the effect of weathering on the materials that the rocks are made up of. Water is the main agent of chemical weathering. It is inactive in its pure form, but even small amounts of dissolved substances like chemicals can make it very active. For example, Carbon dioxide from the atmosphere or decaying matter combines with water and a weak acidic solution is formed. This solution dissolves limestone and calcium carbonate present in rocks causing them to crack. In built up areas, rain gets dissolved with industrial gases such as nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide causing acid rain. Acid rain causes widespread damage to soil, plants, buildings and monuments. Iron compounds present in rocks also combine with water to form iron hydroxide which results in the breaking up of rocks. The third type of weathering is called biological weathering which includes the effect of animals and plants on the landforms. For example, tree roots may grow into the cracks in the rocks in search of nourishment. As the roots grow, they exert great pressure on the rocks, causing them to break. Burrowing animals also contribute actively the process of weathering. Rodents, insects, as well as worms, loosen the material 
and expose more rocks to the other agents of weathering, such as temperature. Let us understand the effects of weathering. The main effect of weathering is the process of soil formation. When a rock is exposed to the atmosphere, it gradually begins to break up because of the process of weathering. The broken down pieces of the rock eventually form a loose layer which is called soil. Soil formation is a very slow process and it takes thousands of years. A well-developed soil is formed only when the weathered particles of rocks remain undisturbed in one place for a long period of time. There is no transportation involved in the process of weathering which just prepares the material which is transported by gradation. That is, the process of erosion and deposition. Erosion is the wearing away of rocks by agents of gradation such as running water, moving ice, wind and waves. Eroded material is then transported from one place to another by the agents of gradation and gets accumulated, eventually giving rise to new landforms. Thus we conclude that weathering is one of the most important natural phenomena that keeps changing the Earth's physical appearance constantly.